Hi everybody, this is Ivan. I am market analyst from marketing and consulting company Indexbox. And today we're looking at the global rabbit meat market. We're at app.indexbox.io. This is the Indexbox platform. The link to this you will find under the video description. We are looking at the rabbit meat market globally and we're looking at the period from 2009 till 2018. Okay, to start with, uh, the consumption of many meat products may be affected by the coronavirus, including rabbit meat. We will look now at the recent market structure and try to deduce from it the possible implications of the global pandemic concerning the rabbit meat market. And we will look in its uh, future long run development. Okay, so the, the basic statistics. The market size is uh, $6.4 billion in 2018. That's 6.7% increase from previous year. The consumption has stood at the same level as compared to 2017. That's 1.4 million tons consumed. The um, average growth rate um, has been 1.7%. The world leader in consumption is China. And the world trend um, in, in terms of the consumption is not really, hasn't really increased from 2014. It stood at almost the same level, 1.4 million tons. Okay, now clearly the world leader is China with 61.7% of the market. That's uh, 860,000 uh, tons consumed. Uh, now the second place is is uh, North Korea. That's 144,000. That's 10.4 percent. Egypt is the third place, 62,000. That's 4.5 percent. And Spain is uh, th uh, with 3.7 percent has uh, consumed 50 om almost 52,000 tons in 2018. Okay, so China is by far clearly the leader here. The Chinese have been growing rabbits for a very long time already. They have, um, they have many sayings in their language highlighting that the rabbit meat is the best of animal meats and eating rabbit meat is even considered healthy for many purposes in their classic uh, medicine. Although 60% of all the 500 million rabbits consumed in China are being eaten in one single province, Sichuan where the climate and the ground are very suitable for the rabbits uh, which made their meat consumption uh, traditional, the rabbit meat consumption. Although um, in different scales the production and consumption is rather spread over uh, all the provinces. Um, now, bearing in mind this global trend, if we look at China separately then we will see that its trend has been rather stably increasing um, which uh, suggests that um, they have been driving the, the, glo the, global demand, the global figures for the global consumption although may maybe that's 3.6 percent which is uh, more than double of the 1.7 percent the growth rate for the uh, for the global demand is not um, really uh, so impressive if you consider the uh, the rate of growth of incomes in this country in these 10 years and the rate of growth of the population uh, plus to that the per capita consumption is still lower um, in China than in the Mediterranean countries. Mm. Although still China China is seems that something that's uh, gr driving the global market and uh, that's especially evident since the consumption in Europe uh, is rather falling mainly due to the ethical reasons and the consumption in Egypt is uh, rather steady. Okay. Um, 
so consumption in Spain, Italy, France and Germany is either falling or, uh, or steady. Mm. Now rabbit is also the second, um, so the North Korea is also the uh, second most, um, most uh, consuming country in the world. Uh, where in this country recently the government has asked the residents to grow rabbits themselves in case uh, famine comes but just generally it's quite a convenient uh, meat to grow so that no 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 wonder that uh, North Korea is, is second here now let's move to production um, same pattern here as we see and same countries also in the top uh, here. Now let's focus on China again. The production of rabbit in China is, of rabbit meat is growing, but it is only about one percent of the total meat production in China. Despite being so easy to cultivate, since raising rabbits requires small space and no grain feed and limited investments, the production of rabbits in the world is generally suffering from poor marketing and lack of coordination and that uh, that touches uh, almost every country the latter um, implies that small local uh, rabbit farms are prevailing over a large coordinated production and processing this keeps the retail costs higher and technological innovation rate lower Despite that, once this problem is tackled over time, that may take many years, uh, but also it may take, it may be done in medium run if uh, this is a coordinated uh, movement, the rabbit meat consumption and therefore the production has a great potential to effectively utilize the trend towards a health diet because the rabbit meat fits perfectly there with its low fat, cholesterol and calories and high protein compared to most other meats. Okay, now as we can see um, the the market is not really, the rabbit meat is not really traded much, that's 2.4 percent of the uh, export share is only 2.4 percent, um, that's not much at all and the same problem here, lack of marketing and lack of coordination. And the top exporting countries are China, Spain, Belgium, France, uh, Hungary. Uh, and China has exported 6.9 thousand tons, that's 20.6 percent of the market, 16.7 uh, percent for Spain, uh, 5.6 thousand tons, Belgium 5,000 tons, almost 15%, France 4.8 thousand, 14.3% uh, and Hungary uh, that's 4.4 uh, thousand tons, that's 13.1% uh, okay and we can go uh, to imports and remember that the import value is only 177 million dollars and uh, the volume is only uh, 33 uh, thousand tons, thirty almost thirty-four. That's quite quite small amount compared to uh, other meats. Okay, now Germany here, Belgium, Italy, Portugal, France. Germany is the first place here, but even in Germany, the consumption is rather uh, stable, rather than uh, increasing or. Um, but it's also not decreasing. Uh, Germany 8.1 uh, thousand tons, that 24 percent. Belgium 5.3 thousand tons, 15.7 percent. Italy 2.9 thousand with 8.6 percent. Okay, so let's go to the consumption and try to um, kind of deduce our expectations. So therefore um, the market may suffer a short run loss due to the closure of restaurants mm, but anyway the long run perspective of the market seems more uh, constructive and more telling to analyze 
and this this perspective tells us that the rabbit market has a great potential at least in china for a faster growth and development but it is rather in the beginning of its expansion and it may take a long time and effort for it to expand to a much greater extent and the current economic slowdown uh, that can uh, last until 2021 2022 may um, may even further postpone this expansion okay uh, thanks for watching please press like button if you found this interesting and subscribe if you want more of material like that see you next time